He just had a 30 minute conversation with a chef when he's prompting but he doesn't even know what he's cooking and they don't know why he's eating it. No macros, no calories, no goal. Is he in a fat loss phase? A muscle game? What the f is going on? <laughs> God damn it, I'm getting sick just thinking about the shit. The f out of my face. Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. I'm also an exercise and sports science professor at Lehman College in the Bronx and the creator of the RP Hypertrophy app. And I'm here for part two, I can't believe it, to appraise Mark Wahlberg's workout. A, a different one this time, hopefully one that's better than last time. If you missed us last time, pour acid into your eyes before you click that link. Let's get started. Get out what you put in and you have to be disciplined. You have to want it and, and you know, put in the time. Respect. All true so far, A plus so far. You see the results, it makes perfect sense. It's just what you do. Oh, it's uh, it's sponsored by Performance Inspired. Excellent. Your body to burn fat, you definitely have to build muscle and for that to happen, you have to give yourself some work. Okay. The, uh, the way I kind of break it down for people is, it's, it what the f is Marky Mark doing in there? Ultra fast, focused on the concentric reps. These are not good reps, folks. You wanna go down slower, Maybe even pause at the bottom and come up quickly. D plus. So for most people, they have between three to six hours a week to actually work out and exercise. So far, so good. If you only have three hours a week, then focus only on strength training. That's really the thing, you know? Yeah, even though I'm trying to pay attention to this while Marky Mark slaughters whatever dog shit pneumatic leg thing that is, terrible technique coming down fast, going halfway down. Who the f knows what's going on anymore? A lot of people say, oh, well, I don't even have time for the elliptical machine. And the one thing you'll notice with the gym and what we set up here with Mark is we really don't do any of that stuff. That's it is by no means clear what it is you actually do. Oh, look, Mark is doing another circus act, bullshit exercise that trains nothing. The mouse wheel stuff isn't the, the mode of action for fat loss for that 45 year old. Yeah. What his trainer saying is right spot on. If you have a limited time to train, resistance training is key. And then if you have more time, potentially you can do some either more resistance training or more cardio. So this is good stuff uh, so far. Let's not get too excited yet. Even for someone, a kid that's trying to get faster in his high school stuff, that the mouse wheels don't take you there. It really is good old fashioned strength training that's missing. I love it. And I love it if this guy actually prescribed good old fashioned strength training, but I bet that's not what's gonna happen. Whatever world you live in, Strength training is really the biggest piece that's missing today. Motherfucker, you don't live in that world because watch what you're about to do. You want to build something that's going to last, you got to do it the right way. Marky Mark, I love that quote. I also don't really know what it means. Nonetheless, I like the spirit. I'm just trying to stay positive, guys. It's only a matter of time until this turns negative as Got to build with all the right material. It's, yeah, all the right material. Mark, the material you use is just what your body makes protein out of. It's not up to you. I'm going to build something quick. Fast, over time, it's gonna break down. You're gonna get injured, hurt. All that stuff's not good for you. I just don't know what the analogy extends to at this point. Let's see. You know? No, I don't know, Mark. Working for the long haul. I wanna be able to perform at this level until I'm in my, my 60s. Absolutely. And the only way to do it is doing it all naturally. What? Oh, that's right. It's also a protein ad or some shit like that. Do it all naturally. I like how he said that for no reason at all. Totally out of context, slightly suspicious. I believe he's all natural. Sure. A camp, when I refer to a camp, that's the time period it takes us to really prepare for a role. And based off of last camp, taking 12 weeks to really drop the same amount of body fat that we've dropped this time in six weeks, definitely tells me that this Performance Inspired is off the charts better. Okay, so this is a commercial for Performance Inspired, which I guess is a protein. And they're claiming Marky Mark was able to drop a similar amount of body fat in six weeks that it took him 12 weeks last time to do. I can almost assure you, protein supplements do not have that much of an effect. Considering that the only variable that's really different. So Marky Mark seems to like to dump barbells on his chest. No eccentric control. Hey coach, shut the f up about performance inspired. Coach your athlete. Is the supplementation. Now I'm seeing the results, you know, that's the thing. You're working hard training, you're eating right, taking the right supplements, and then you see the results in the morning. In the morning. I assume this happens all in one day, Marky Mark, and of course overnight. Instead of feeling discouraged, you feel like, oh God, well, I'm gonna work twice as hard the next day. Twice as hard, and then twice as hard the next day, and then twice after that. It's like a fucking Moore's Law of training out here. It's easier to stay in shape than it is to get in shape. That's true, good point. Not exactly what I'd call inspirational, 
But nonetheless, let's evaluate these tricep extensions. Just kidding, on to more protein commercial. This video sucks. Our exercises are multi-planar, so. Oh God, battle ropes, multi-planar, which again means almost nothing. Certainly not a concern for an actor. Moving on. Right now, Mark's doing a lunge pattern, but he's also doing the ropes at the same time. Technically, that's in the same plane, but at this point, who's counting? So a lot of the motions that we do on this particular camp hasn't been anything about like just the normal like squat, deadlift. It's not that, because you're not qualified to coach that shit. It's not that only because of the size that we're trying to get Mark to. So really a lot of the complex movements have whittled his body size down, body fat down. <sighs> Folks, the movements you do have zero impact on your size. Your size is always and everywhere up to your nutrition. If you train with weights and you eat a lot, you're gonna gain size. If you train with weights and you eat very little, you're gonna lose size, mostly fat size. I very highly doubt that if Mark focused on actual compound heavy basics, like allegedly is a good idea according to this man, except not this time, he would just be really chiseled and really lean and it wouldn't make his waist grow at all as is being implied here. First rate awful. Intermittently, we always add jump rope. Always add jump rope, everyone knows that. So that's kind of like how we do all our moves. Just two big complex moves, then jump rope. And um, it's it's worked out great for us this camp. I feel like he's just making stuff up on the spot. We do one move, we do another move, and we, uh, um, we jump rope, which is great so far. Cool, is there like a principle there or anything? Nothing we can learn? Sweet, no worries. Right there. Oh, there he goes, walking around with a dumbbell for no reason. This was in the last video, it still doesn't do anything. It's a 70 pound suitcase right there. 70 pound, that's a big suitcase, a training to be a hotel desk clerk. All right, folks, if you want to see the full uncensored version of this video, much more extra content, some stuff we did not put into this video, our members area is up for grabs. Give that a shot and maybe we'll see you guys there. 70 pounds. This is the laziest training I've ever seen. Not from Mark's perspective, he's working hard. The coach is just standing around watching him walk around and do nonsense. Hey coach, get in there and coach a real movement like a pull up or a row or a bench press or a curl or a squat. Actually get your client best, most efficient results. Stop just watching him walk around in pointless patterns, pointlessly for no point at all. Mark is just mumbling nonsense at this point. He's a trippy guy. Oh, the trainer's doing it too, how nice. Yeah. This comes very close to being just random ways to do work. Like you ran out of good ideas as a trainer and you just, f just like, hey, like just, uh, just walk around or move around, just do this, it'll be great. And Mark's like sweating and tired. He's like, oh, this must be great. He's being ripped off. So the, the beat behind this one is that the offset load forces your cord to realign itself, so. Yes, it sure does. And how will that make me jacked? How will that make me lean? How will that make me look more like Marky Mark? And then the figure eight pattern underneath it really creates a dynamic of the hips. What? That, you know, it's pure, very athletic. It's, it's not very athletic. Athletes move a lot faster than this, sir. Have you ever seen a sport being done? Cutting corners, turning corners. There is no sport called figure eight kettlebell walking. There is no sport that looks remotely like it. Your whole body has to respond to that weight. I've never seen someone over explain the f out of you carry a weight around in a random f***ing pattern. Going for that centripetal force. Ooh, centripetal force. You got a real scientist. So it's a huge core exercise. Huge core exercise, the biggest. Because core is really important, because reasons. Consistency takes you there. And I think that if you're gonna be consistent with a particular product, that product better be great aim. Man, this infomercial shit is getting old. You want everybody to be able to feel good about just going on a, grabbing that thing off the shelf without having to really worry about what's in the bottle. I don't ever wanna worry about what's in the bottles of shit I'm taking. In a camp like this, it is all nutrition. It's all nutrition. The training has no effect. As long as the metabolism falls into the right place, the muscle will just, will, melt all that fat. What? You guys, he's legitimately just like saying shit on the spot that makes no sense. They're like, yeah, we need 30 minutes of you talking about muscle and metabolism and melting. Just start talking and we'll put it together later. Boom, mission accomplished. 
So really, for us, 90% of the work is just the nutrition. Correction, it's not all nutrition. It's now been downgraded to only 90%. Much more sensible. I mean, there's nothing box that we eat. There's nothing packaged. You don't want to eat anything in boxes or packages because, I don't know, I've taught nutrition at the D1 university level, and I failed to teach that part because it's not true. Even the performance-inspired uh, proteins that we're having, it's all natural. This guy just said you don't want to eat anything out of a box or a package. Now, if I get my performance-inspired protein, if it comes in either a box or, dare I say, a package, I'll be very upset. You're not even good at shilling. So that's just a big piece of the puzzle is that the body doesn't have to filter all that crap out. Filtering crap, the body hates doing. They've pulled the body and the body's like, <sighs> yeah, filtering crap, hate. Getting laid, love. Parting with my friends, love. Filtering, I'm not big on. And they're like, what about, what about your kidneys? They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're exclusively designed to do that and they're really f good at it. But whatever, I hate doing it. Quote, body. This is make-believe, folks. All of it. What the f exercise is that? Holy shit. He's like splaying himself out with this f***ing archer pose. I don't, I don't even know what's going on anymore. You know, fat is a way for the body to protect itself. Protect itself from what, motherfucker? You don't even train hard. And then, you know, making sure that he's got his rest days lined in. Gotta have your rest days lined in. You know, we work out super hard you do not work out super hard period recovery is such a big topic because people don't really recover anymore recovery is such a big topic because people don't really recover anymore you guys remember back in the 50s when the cars looked really cool and you could count on your old friend cindy to serve you up a great malt shake from the local diner I got you guys a protein shake. Awesome, I love protein. And you looked around and everyone was recovering and you're like, oh, this paradise, this splendor, it'll never end. And then the 70s and 80s came along and everyone just stopped recovering. This is a known pandemic. I can't believe this gentleman was asked questions on television and was allowed to answer them. Let me tell you guys about the RP Hypertrophy app. With over 28 preset programs already in the app, you can choose to make your own, you can modify an existing program, or you can just run the programs exactly as they were written by me personally. This app programs everything for you. Exercises, weights, sets, reps, frequency, the whole thing. After every single workout on every single week, the app adjusts to your unique parameters with every single input. We have over 250 exercises in the app with detailed video tutorial links to every single one. You never have to be confused about technique or form ever again. I'm guessing right now you're pretty interested in the app? Download the RP Hypertrophy app today. I, I worked out hard, but now you walk away and you're so sore that you can't even work out the next day. Oh. If you're so sore that you can't work out the next day, you failed. No, wait, wait, that just means you switch muscle groups. You recover from that soreness in that next day and you go back again and smash the shit again and get sore. I thought this is how people got jacked from time immemorial, but what the f do I know? I'm just an expert and jacked. You also have to work through the pain. Mark's like, shut the f up, I'm gonna cut you off right here. You gotta work through the pain. The trainer's like, mother f you are putting your goddamn stick in my spokes. Shut your mouth, I just said a bunch of shit, you're gonna contradict it. And he did. Let's see how this resolves itself. If you work through the pain, say you work out, you're sore the next day, you go into workout 15, 20 minutes into the workout, that soreness is gone. Now there'll be a little bit of... Yep, so I guess it is okay to, to be sore. I don't understand, there's no unified message here. I'm a confused member of the audience. What do I do? Who knows? The muscle soreness is gonna happen to anybody that hasn't worked out in a long time. True. When you do work out hard, and there's a lot of people that do, they, they'll, they'll be in the gym for 90 minutes, two hours, and then, They'll walk away from the gym. They're dripped in sweat. Dripped in sweat. This is bad news. Sweat causes soreness, I think. They've worked so hard, and then they won't eat anything. They think, I'm trying to lose weight, and they won't do anything. And that's probably one of the worst things you can do, because you just expended all this sugar, all this glycogen storage, and all the protein in your own body. If you don't replenish it immediately, your body will feel that depletion and a sense of soreness. Mark Wahlberg just took out a dumbbell, did two lunge swings with it, and then put it back. I don't have any context for this.
This is if you're ever tied up by terrorists and they're like, all right, the keys to your handcuffs are inside this little ball in front of you, but I bet you can't use your feet to pick it up and curl it towards yourself, pussy. They lock the door and they off. You're like, ha ha, but wait, I've been training for this. These are just random movements at this point, folks. Oh, the body. A little bit of bodybuilding. Let's go. Oh yeah. Mark's hot. Well, I get up at uh, three o'clock, you know, in the morning, every morning. Then the first thing I do is I prepare egg whites, Ezekiel bread with a little bit of almond butter. This is his chef. He did say three o'clock. Interesting. So by the time I finish my workout, then what do I do? I go get the shake? Yeah. Mark doesn't know what his nutrition is. The chef has to remind him. Excellent. That's a rich dude. Performance inspired with a little bit of blueberries, maybe like eight blueberries. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The blueberries better not have come out of a box, man. This is crazy talk. After that, we go up for golfing. Of course, after that, golf. Hard life. What time we golfing? Seven o'clock. No, six. Six, yeah, six. Is he mocking his chef? He's like, you don't even know my schedule. Why do I even pay you? Then 10.30, what do we eat? 10.30, we have a tuna salad. It's made with lettuce. A spinach uh, with a little bit of bell peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, a little avocado. Why is this detail relevant? I'm like, okay, I'm writing this down. Wait, a bell peppers, not red peppers. Uh, erase red peppers. That's gonna f up your physique. You're gonna be a fat f bell peppers, shred city. What did mama said? No beans, right? Mama said no beans. What? Why? I don't know why she said why, but. I love it. Someone named Mama said no beans and is unclear to the chef as the reasoning for that instruction, but he knows the instruction. I think he's farting are... too much. Yeah. Oh, Mark Wahlberg's female significant other said that this, his level of uh, gas production was too much and the beans were cut out. It makes sense. It's the first thing in the whole video that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think the beans are what make you fat a lot. I think it might be the. You know, what do you think that is? Just eating healthy, right? Just eating, Just eating healthy makes you fart. Everyone knows that. When you break down greens, the bacteria in our stomach is all those little, it's just digestion. You don't want to be in the car when that happens. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. No, I'm not going to give a f rating Scott the video guy. What the f am I supposed to rate? He just had a f 30 minute conversation with a chef when he's prompting that he doesn't even know what he's cooking and they don't know why he's eating it. No macros, no calories, no goal. Is he in a fat loss phase? The muscle gave the f is going on. <coughs> God damn it, I'm getting sick just thinking about the shit. The f out of my face. I'm out of here again. F this month, all of our shit. <laughs>